behind our ambulances, firemen and police officers, there's always workers behind the scenes making everything possible. The hero in this story is Salcom, Sea, Air and Land Communications, a Christchurch business inventing and monitoring communications machinery required for those at sea, on land or in the air. Salcom sales engineer Bob Gordon says their technology is one step at a time turning the world wireless. Salcom is a company that produces wireless technology for industrial and commercial applications, usually over long distances. We, we get rid of cables, so anywhere that you would have cables controlling or monitoring a machine, our technology does that. The company, born out of Tate Communications, has been active for almost 40 years and has 16 employees. The technology built and operated here ranges from tsunami warning systems to an overboard locator beacon. Bob Gordon says Salcom's work is key to many industries. Because the work they do is such a niche market, the technology can be used to make many different jobs easier and more efficient. We think that we would fit into that. We think that we've got a lot to offer and people would benefit a lot from using our devices. The beacon is most commonly worn by those at sea or working on a big ship. If you were to fall overboard, a signal is sent so action can occur as soon as possible. This standout product is set apart as one of the first of its kind because the antenna is of a longer length, capable to transmit long distances. Now if it got wet now, it would go off, but I'll set it off and turn that on. This is the companion receiver. <coughs> So if I set this off now as if it got wet, what happens is the receiver, so I've fallen overboard, the receiver picks up the signal and one of the first things it does is it turns off the engine. Sea, air and land communications products are not only internationally recognised but exported to more than four different continents. We um, export to the UK, Europe, America, South America, Canada, and but we'd like to export a lot more than we do at the moment. The people who use our devices, you know, recognise that they're high quality and, and well priced. At the factory, the Salcom engineers are busy packing up a tsunami warning system they created to send to Niue. Incredibly loud so it can be heard from one end of the island to the other. And the thing about this equipment is that it needs to be reliable and mission critical so we've spent a lot of effort in making sure that it works under all conditions and you know weather, corrosion etc. Important for the people here in Canterbury, Salcom look after the communication systems for Christchurch's fire, ambulance and police services helping the emergency services communicate efficiently and save lives. Since we make wireless technology that's very reliable and can be used for mission critical environments such as fire and ambulance, we, we also make uh, emergency beacons, you know, EPIRBs for ships and boats and uh, we think we make a really good product and we, people who are going to use our product need to rely on it for their lives. As the company expand, they look at new ways they can turn the world wireless. Bob Gordon says the possibilities are endless. Well, since our technology gets rid of cables, anywhere that you, know, you don't want to run kilometres of cable, our technology does that reliably. So it can be used anywhere for irrigation, it can be used for controlling machinery at a distance, it can be used in water and sewage treatment plants. It's, I don't think we've fully got to all the places that could use our technology. Looking ahead to the future, this Canterbury-born innovative company believes for greater. Joel Batista, CTV News.